Self-doubt is stalling you. It is keeping you from your destiny. It is stopping you from fulfilling the vision that you carry inside of you. You're that person who has had big ideas. Okay, and you still have big ideas if you're really honest about it. Except maybe someone told you that you're too much at some point in your life, at some point, and now, and now it still rings at the back of your head somewhere. Or maybe a parent said, that's just absolutely not possible. Because I know for me, I wanted to write and, and sing and do music stuff and write. And my parents said to me, or at least how I remember it, is that my parents said that it's just, it's just not practical. There's no way you can actually make a living doing any of that stuff. And so I kind of decided to put it down and became a pharmacist instead, focused on my, my education. I remember my chemistry teacher saying to me when I was younger that, hey, why are you doing sciences? You're supposed to be doing music because he could see, because I was the choir leader I was at church and doing all kinds of stuff with music and the school pianist and all of this. And he was like, why are you doing sciences? And I'm just like, well, you know what? This is what my parents want me to do. I have no choice in the matter. You can go and speak to my parents if you think I should be doing something different, which of course he didn't. But the truth of the matter is that I, in that moment, I was probably only about you know 11 or 12 or something at that point, but I almost handed over responsibility for my own life to my parents, to my chemistry teacher, to other people in my life. I mean, I even had an English teacher, um, you know, um, what's it called, favoring me because my ability to write was noticed even when I was a child. But I didn't believe in me. Even then, self-doubt had started to take a hold on my life. Even then. And I wonder how long you've been walking with self-doubt because... I have broken free of that. I'm not saying that I never doubt myself. What I'm saying is that doubt is not allowed to tell me what to do. It can sometimes slow me down a little bit, but I catch myself so much quicker than I used to. Are you catching yourself? Are you, are you stopping yourself from allowing self-doubt to be the thing that stops you? Is that even a sentence? Or ultimately, are you allowing self-doubt to stall you? You already know the answer to that question because the answer just shot up in your head immediately as I asked you that. And are you willing to keep allowing that to be your story? Because it doesn't have to be. Listen, come and work with me in The Deliberate Millionaires. It is an incubator for driven spiritual people who know they are meant for more, but who are feeling stifled by self-doubt and low self-esteem. There's all kinds of reasons why self-doubt has taken a hold over you, but it doesn't have to continue. That's the thing. Right now, in this moment, you can make a decision that no longer is self-doubt allowed to determine what I do or do not do with my life. This is my life. I get to choose what happens within it. You have these big ideas because you are exactly the person to bring them to life. Will you stop stalling yourself Will you stop listening to the old stories just long enough to make the decision to come and work with me, come and do life with me within the incubator for deliberate millionaires? Will you make that decision? The link is going to be around this video. Do not delay any longer. Do not allow self-doubt to cause you to continue to procrastinate. This is your life. You could be the way shower for the generations following you because I know you're somebody who wants to leave a legacy. Okay, you want to break um, generational patterns in your ancestors line or whatever you would call it well today is the day you make the decision to stand up for yourself self-doubt is no longer allowed to stall you come on work with me in the deliberate millionaires day by day immersion by immersion it's program by program you will find yourself doing things that you never imagined that you could do it's time to go bigger honey it's time to step into the more. Share this video with somebody else. Come and join me. There's going to be a link around this video. Join in. Join in now. <laughs> okay? Um, share this video with somebody else. I'm Rosemary Nonny Knight. I am the Prosperity Minister, and we will be doing life together in The Deliberate Millionaires. I can't wait to do life with you. It's time. It's time for spiritual people to rise victorious in their true design. Let's go. Share with someone else. Bye.